$20 million, $19 million, $6 million. These are all awards recovered for clients of Phillips Law Firm. To win big, you have to fight big. And Phillips Law has been fighting the too-big-to-fail insurance industry for decades. Not every case will have a multi-million dollar outcome, but Phillips Law will fight just as hard to recover the outcome you deserve. If you or a loved one has been injured in a car accident or on the job, call or click today at 1-800-JUSTICE or visit justiceforyou.com. Spend less time in the laundry room and more time doing the things you love. Introducing the Samsung Smart Top Load Laundry Pair, now available at Lowe's. The washer's large capacity means you can fit more in every load. Plus, its super speed setting washes a full load in only 28 minutes. Shop the smart washer that will streamline laundry day, backed by Lowe's Price Promise. Based on using super speed on a normal cycle with an 8-pound load, terms apply. See Lowe's.com slash price promise for details. U.S. only. Hey, this is BJ. Thanks for listening to our show's podcast. If you're a fan of all things geeky, you should check out my other podcast, BJ Shea's Geek Nation. We have new episodes every day, and you can check it out at BJGeekNation.com. Your home is going into foreclosure, and you feel like a financial wreck. You don't know where to turn for accurate information. I'm bankruptcy attorney Travis Gagné. Let's talk about some legal options. If we work quickly, we can propose a plan to save your home, modify the loan, or in many cases, even eliminate your second mortgage. The consultation is free. I've helped hundreds of people just like you make informed decisions about whether to save their home or exit it on a reasonable, organized timeline. The chapter you choose sets the tone for the next chapter of your life. Please contact me today at ChooseTheRightChapter.com. That's ChooseTheRightChapter.com. 99.9 KISW, The Rock of Seattle. I know you listen to us now. Maybe it's on the radio, but what if you have to go away from the radio? You know you get that smartphone or a computer, which means we still can be with you via radio.com. On the computer, that's what it is. Or go get the radio.com app if you have an iPhone or an Android phone, and you can stream the rock wherever you got to go. Steve will always be by your side. That's right. I'm here for you. Oh. So if you want radio.com, you know where to go. Radio.com. That's where you it's, it's pretty easy, actually. Let's play Beat Mix. It's time to play the game. Yeah. So everybody scream his name. Beat Mix. Don't be a loser. Whoa. Beat Mix. You're a loser. It is time to Beat Mix. And let's get cracking on Thursday. Kraken. Yeah, or uh, put on your Kraken hat if you That's forgot right. your normal gear. I like it. I yeah. did. So Steve, I put my hat Steve. on. Steve forgot he wasn't representing. <laughs> I thought today was Wednesday. Yeah. Until I got to work and saw all of you wearing Kraken <laughs> shirts. And I even thought about it this morning when I pulled out the Seawolf shirt that I'm wearing today. I was like, ah, tomorrow I get to wear my Kraken shirt. I love it because then we get to shame you. So it's like yeah. everyone is, it's kind of playing that roulette. Like yeah. who's going to forget to wear their stuff? Every week, someone different. See, the good news is, Steve, is once we get our tattoo that we've been talking about forever. forever. We're good. We don't even have to wear it because yeah. we got it on us. Have you guys figured out where you're going to get your tattoos yet? Eh. On my leg. Oh, okay. Yeah. No. You promised me on the taint. <laughs> oh, that too. It's going to go from my leg and work its yeah. way all the oh. tentacle. Oh. We'll work oh. its way oh. all the way up. <laughs> Okay, perfect. We just have to get it done. Okay, wow. Perfect, too. I love this tattoo. Wow. Well, let's get to our contestant today. We've got Phil and Lake Stevens. Phil, are you there? I'm here. Oh, that's the name of the uh, Kraken I want. Phil the Kraken. <laughs> oh, for the mascot? Yeah. <laughs> All right, Steve, get out of here. Get out! I'm willing to put money that they do not go with it. I yeah. know they're not going to, but they really, really we should. We can't get everything we want. We got the Kraken, which just is pretty amazing. That. That's the moment film. where they're like, you can't have nice things. Yeah. We gave you the Kraken, and now you want to film a Kraken. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right. For those playing at home, Phil will have 60 seconds to answer 10 Phil questions. Travis. Oh, uh, yeah. That, uh, wait, yeah, no, Phil. Yeah, Phil. You said Phil. His is, name is Travis. Is not Phil. Um, oh, it is Phil. I'm looking at the wrong name. My oh, bad, Phil. Good job. Yes. Okay. Uh, yeah. You know what? My apologies. All right then. Look well, at the wrong screen. For those playing at home, not Travis. Phil will have 60 seconds to answer 10 questions. Sorry, Travis. Phil, you can pass all you want, but you will only get three guesses per question. Are you ready? I'm ready. Petty Marshall directed Tom Hanks in A League of Their Own in which other movie? Ooh. Ah. Tito Jackson is known for playing which musical instrument? Ah. In The Little Mermaid, Ariel's two best friends are what kind of sea creatures? A uh, fish and a lobster. No. Um, flounder and a seagull. No. 
fish in the seagull. No. What color dress does Marge Simpson typically wear? Blue. No. Orange. No. Uh Uh-oh. Red. No. Uh, Which 1999 movie starred Ed Norton and Brad Pitt? Fight Club. Yes. Finish the title of the 2004 movie, Team America What? Ah, uh, pass. Charlie Chaplin satirized which man in the movie The Great Dictator? Hitler. Yes. Indonesia is located on which continent? Asia. Yes. Marilyn Manson's last album was released in which year? 99. No! Whoa. <laughs> One, two, three. Correct. Uh, he's put out a lot more albums since 99, buddy. This but- is tough. This was, these, these questions were tough because I know the things you're talking about and I can't remember the specific answers. Oh. Such a beating. Those are the worst ones where it's like on the tip of your tongue oh. and you don't know. Yeah, you, wow. You got is- me this time. <laughs> <laughs> Phil's, know. Ar- Phil's already calling it a loss. These are tough ones. I'm not, I, I'm not sure Steve's going to do much better. Oh. Uh-oh. Good old yeah. pitchers do right. well. Yeah. Steve, are you ready? Release the Kraken. Penny Marshall directed Tom Hanks in A League of Their Own in which other movie? Oh, um, the t- Thelma and Louise. No. Tom Forrest Hanks. Gump. No. Uh, Philadelphia. No. Tito Jackson is known for playing which musical instrument? What? Tito Jackson is known for the playing. guitar. Yes. In The Little Mermaid, Ariel's two best friends are what kind of sea creatures? They're crabs. No. Oh. Uh, um, they're fish. No. Uh, they're, they're turtles. No. Oh. What color dress does Marge Simpson typically wear? Green. Yes. yes. Which, 1990, oh, <laughs> which 1999 movie starred Ed Norton and Brad Pitt? And Meatloaf. <laughs> Fight Club. <laughs> yes. Oh, you're talking about it. Fish, <laughs> finish the title of the 2004 movie Team America What? America F yeah? No. <laughs> World Police. <laughs> yes. Charlie Chaplin satirized which man in the movie The Great Dictator? Hitler. Yes. Indonesia is located on which continent? Asia. Yes. Marilyn Manson's last album was released in which year? 2019. No. 2018. No. 2020. Yes. And Steve, you win. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven to three. Nice job, Steve. Sorry, Phil. No problem. Steve. Yeah. <laughs> Phil would have, Steve would have beat me today. Oh. World Police. I could not think of it. Team America World Police. Ah. Tip of your tongue. Couldn't remember it. Yeah. Sorry, right, buddy. Nice. A little SpongeBob here. Sweet. He deserves it. Sweet. Damn straight. Victory. Now, Steve, you're going to kick yourself for this one. The Little Mermaid question, you almost had correct. You said fish and then crabs, or vice versa, one of those other. You needed to say fish and crab because one's a fish and oh, one's a crab. Are you serious? I'm serious. Sebastian's yeah. a crab yeah. and Flounder's a fish. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. So yeah, you were super funny. close. I'd like to argue, but I had no idea, and I was just throwing things out. I, I, I noticed. Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> it's, it's, it's like, kind I of meant you, that. I meant yeah. to say that, Rev. <laughs> yeah, it's a, t- it's a tough one. I don't know if he would have been given that or not. I was wondering about that as he was just throwing uh, things out there. It could go either way, whether he'd be given that or not. Nope. I'm not giving it to him. I don't mind. <laughs> okay. No, if I said fish crab. Uh, fish I, crab. Yeah. I would have actually had to have allowed and that. And I'd have to pretend that there wasn't two guesses. That exactly. was just one guess. Yeah. Okay. yeah. <laughs> uh, Penny, Penny Marshall directed Tom Hanks in A League of Their Own. And does anyone want to fashion a guess on this? Uh, uh, Joe versus the Volcano? No, oh. but it is a, Big. It, yes. Because it was an big. older movie, but yeah, she directed oh, Big. God, she did Big. Yeah, she passed away a couple ding, of years ago. Penny Marshall. Did she really? Mike. Yeah. I didn't even realize she passed away. Yeah, she did. Wow. Um, I think it was 2018. I, I think just you're checked. right. Yeah. Wow. Um, 2018 or 2017, she passed oh, away. I kind of want to watch. I want to yeah. watch Big again and see if it's. Oh, so up. good. I hope it's it holds up. up. That was one of my favorite movies growing mm-hmm. up. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. I wanted a giant keyboard. Dude, when I went to New York to FAO Schwartz. And they had the giant keyboard. Did and they it really? was so awesome to be able to pretend that you're. You know, Did you do it? Did you step on and dance on it? Absolutely. Right on. That's so cool. Yeah. It was pretty sweet. I'm like really absolutely jealous right now. You can get one. I'm sure it's not that expensive. Maybe. Yeah. Put it in your 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 Kraken den. <laughs> My Kraken den. A Kraken den. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. Sure. Uh, I forget just what a family that was. Penny and Gary Marshall, her dad. They they were both amazing with the the, the stuff they put out, the successes that they had. Was Gary Marshall the singer? 
Gary Marshall was the guy that did Happy Days. He was a pre, he was a creator, oh, just, and he was her dad. Oh, and he's the one that put her in Laver- as Laverne. And then, of course, so the successes wow. that she had. I mean, she had Laverne and Shirley. She was great in Happy Days, and then she, of course, she mm-hmm. went and directed those movies. Yeah, uh, her dad and her, they were quite the talented family. Wow. Boom, Rev, thirty four bucks. You get yourself one of those piano mats. Oh, that's Whoa, nothing. Really? That's nothing. I mean, you can go high end and get like one for ninety nine bucks, but this is the one that's meant for children. Yeah, I mean, maybe want to get a bigger one. Let's be honest. I'm a bigger boy. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah. Uh, you can just like Tommy Hanks. <laughs> like Tommy Hanks. Uh, congrats, Steve. You won. That's right, man. Steve's a winner. I want to get this for my bathroom. <laughs> is it, is got... your bathroom that big that you can do it? No, I'd have to like figure something out. But I thought that'd be kind of cool. Like if I get, you sit on the toilet and you can play the piano <laughs> with your feet. Yes. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> then my wife will know when I'm actually going to the bathroom. <laughs> She'll be like, "Oh, I hear the I hear chopsticks playing." <laughs> you know what? Why not? Why not? Why not? It's the worst things you can do with your money. That's a, that's a really good point. Uh, Kraft might be proving that right now because uh, they had this cool campaign. They Well, they thought it was a cool campaign. It, it was called Send Nudes, which oh, encouraged yes. adults to send free noodles to loved ones to provide comfort and make them smile. So it was Send Nudes, N-O-O-D-S, uh, tying in with National Noodle Day last week. Uh, and I guess they thought, they, they definitely thought about the entendre, nudes, and of course, N-U-D-E-S. Right. But they thought, oh, people won't mind. It. Nobody will be insensitive over this. And they had a former SNL cast member, Vanessa Bayer. God, I miss her. She's so good. Uh, she actually made a commercial for this. And yeah, she definitely was like, oh yeah, this is a pun. In these strange times, people are in need of extra comfort. That's why it's always a nice gesture to send nudes. So they know you're thinking of them. I'm talking about nudes, not nudes. I want there to be no confusion. Do not send nudes. Definitely send nudes. Send nudes early and often to everyone. Send nudes never. I mean, make yourself, but even then, sparingly, unless you're talking about nudes, in which case, send away. In the event that there's any confusion about this, let's take a step back. Always send nudes. Never nudes. The only thing you should never not send is nudes. Yep. And so was it, people were offended by this? They thought the ads could encourage children to send nude photos to each other. Oh, gosh. Okay. We've... That's what they thought. I, I mean, sometimes we just have to stop thinking for the children because we're clearly not thinking very well. Yep. I don't know any child that's going to be like, oh, because of this, I'm going to send nudes. Yeah. I mean, maybe if anything, they want to send a picture of a noodle. Yeah. The problem, the, the the problem is, is like you said, Steve. We have people are sensitive, and all it takes is a couple people who, for some reason, need to protect everybody from their own whatever. Do you feel like, though, more often than not, the people that say, "What about the kids?" Really, aren't. It's not about the kids. They're just offended. They got yep. their panties in a bunch about it. And like you know, the easiest way to argue this is. What about the kids? It seems like that's so often, like, you know, oh, my gosh, I couldn't imagine doing this. Imagine if a child saw it. And you're like, well, child wouldn't even be able to understand what the hell they just saw. You know what I mean? Like, so often we, we, we blame, we, we say we want things to stop because of children when it's, the children aren't even being bothered by it. No, we're, we're the big idiots. Yeah, yes. we, re- we really are. <laughs> uh, there's mean, no def- idiots, no idiots, and we're big idiots. Yeah, I, we, we are. I mean, it, yeah, you can definitely see that uh, we have ruined the children's autonomy by being helicopter parents like crazy people, and this is part of it. Like, we think that children are, are going to be scarred by things, and how are they going to be scarred by this little joke of a commercial? And look, if people are going to send nudes to each other, like teenage children, because they get, well, we all were teenage children. We were looking to basically, you know... Our, our, our hormones were changing. That's going to happen. I mean, it's, it's that's ridiculous. just a thing. You know, it was like, what was, it, what was that ad campaign? It was Kmart. And they were doing the one where they were telling people you could ship things anywhere. Oh, yeah. And it was, they were saying you could ship S-H-I-P my yeah. pants. Yes. I don't think anyone was like, what about the children? Next thing you know, they're just going to want to poop themselves. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, it was like, it was just a dumb, funny play on words. There were people. That commercial though, was awesome. It was great. But I remember there were people who complained because oh, it sounded too much like the other bad word. Gosh. Which, yeah, you know, Steve, I'm with you, man. It's it's just nuts. The re- So Kraft had to pretty much say, whoops, we're sorry. Took the send nudes video down. And just, you know, again, in this time, we could use a smile. And yet nobody wants to smile. And I like noodles. I was going to say, how. Like, happy would you be if all of a sudden you just open your door and somebody's there with noodles? Yes. Right. If someone sent me nudes, I would be so happy. I'd be so happy. Oh, uh, yeah. And of course, we're talking about noodle nudes. I'm saying both. Yeah. But, sure. uh, okay, fine. Well, yeah. 
Just, oh. Yeah, just insane. Kraft mac and cheese. Yeah, mm. so good. <laughs> That would be so great if somebody said that. just had a happy moment over it. Oh, yeah. Did. Those are so good. <laughs> I've been wanting mac and cheese all oh. morning. All right, you all can morning. have it. We'll all send morning. you news. I don't know why. Can we make it happen? We got an hour. We should make it happen. Well, yeah, how are we going to do that? I don't know. That's the fun of it. <laughs> we got to figure out how are we going to get Danny mac and cheese yeah. before the show ends. Well, you are the idea guy. You never were the action guy. Right. All right. Per- perfect. <laughs> well, you know what? You're living it up. We, we, we'll, we'll figure out to me. We'll, we'll try to make it happen. Uh, and, and by uh, me, that means not me. Uh, it's his time, though. I can make this happen. Listeners on the loose. This is where you pick the topic. You guide the show. 206-421-ROCK. Text us at 77999. You know how it is. What you want to talk about, you get to. 917, your calls and texts on The Rock. BJ and Migs. Mornings on The Rock. 99.9 KISW. 9.9 KISW, The Rock of Seattle. It's Listeners on the Loose. And it is brought to you by Spartan Plumbing. Listeners on the Loose, you pick the topic, you guide the show. 206 421 Rock. Text us at 77999. It's pretty simple. You want to talk about something? You can, as long as you follow Steve's rules. It's a simple rule, and that's to show some energy and bring it, or you'll be gone, and we'll say goodbye to you. Goodbye, old friend. Do you, when you hear like Spartan Plumbing, do you just, in, they, was it, this is Sparta? Well, that's exactly <laughs> what it is. Isn't that, I, I always nice. think that. Is there always something like, whenever we have a guy named like Timmy, Tim Collin, um, yeah. my first thought is Timmy! Like, there's certain things that just trigger the dumbest things in my mind. Well, I like it for plumbing because if you want to stop the links, we will stop it. We will not bend. We will not break. We are Sparta. See, Spartan I even, plumbing. I have to take your word for that. I've never seen the film. Oh, you've never even seen it? Well, how I do you know, know that? that? Well, I know that. That's like a, a scene that's uh, been, like, shared on social media everywhere. I didn't realize you were a Sparta poser. I, oh, I'm totally am. Yeah. Wow. I'm a phony. Yeah. But yeah, right. I do think of Tim A. I do think of this. I I don't think it's so much with this as Sparta like you, but now I probably will. Thanks for putting that, that in my head. Every time. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. If someone says I like Scottish, I just think of freedom. Oh, okay. I make, I make dumb connections with things. See, I think of beat me up, Scotty, when I hear Scottish. Uh, I, uh, we haven't got the power, sir. I go old school with Scotty. But you know what? I, I see what you're saying. Yep. I'm buying it. So this is your opportunity, 206-421-ROCK, text us at 77999. Someone says, uh, you guys were talking about blueberries earlier. The yeah. biggest Halloween debate of all time. What's better? Count Chocula, Frankenberry, or Booberry? For me, Booberry for the win every time. Yeah, I like Booberry better than, uh, than uh, Frankenberry, and I never like Count Chocula. For some reason, chocolate cereal doesn't do it for me. 100% on the same side as you. Yeah, it's Booberry, Frankenberry, Count Chocula. And I hate like cho- cocoa pe- pebbles. Yeah, don't yeah. like that. It's like don't, don't, don't even, don't, it's don't stop. even try, don't people. Even. Right. See, I am a heretic. I do not like marshmallow cereal at all. Okay, get out. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> so what, like you like healthy cereal or something? I mean, I'll eat cornflakes and Cheerios, but I also like uh, well, cookie is... crisps or uh, well, cocoa crispies. They're better than cocoa pebbles. I don't like cocoa crispies or cocoa pebbles, but co- cookie crisp, I'll give you. Wait, but uh, no Lucky Charms. Okay, she needs to leave the show. We can't have this. I mean, there are rules, Steve. We talked about this. There, there are cereal rules. So, wait, you would prefer a, a crispy over a pebble? Yes. And you Cocoa, would prefer okay. cornflakes over a Lucky Charms? Yes. Are you... What did your parents do to you? Mm. I'm going to talk to both of them. They ruined you. I know. My brother loves it. Like, I don't like any of the fake fruity cereals either. Oh, you mean like the, like the Fruit Loops and stuff yeah. like that? Oh, my God. What about Apple Jacks? Mm-mm. Oh, my gosh. How what? can... Do you realize that A is for Apple and J is for Jacks? I mean, come on, lady. I, I mean, I kind of put that together, but I just, I, it's not my jam. I'd I rather know, cornflakes. The one that's it's still bothering me is how anyone can think that a crisp is better than a pebble. The crisp is like the worst cereal ever. See, Any I, of the crisps. I well, think, unless they, you they make get, a they treat get out of it. They soggy fast. You got to make a treat out of it. Forget using it as cereal. Make it a Rice crispy treat or a Cocoa crispy treat. I feel like I'm just a monster with cereal because I just inhale it when I eat it because I like it nice and firm. So I eat it really, really fast. What are we talking Any about? Any cereal. Okay. I feel like you know. Like so it says, who doesn't like marshmallow cereal? I thought Me. I knew you. Vicky. No, the text says I agree. No marshmallows in cereal. Okay, get off this show. Come on, it's like Danny and pineapple pizza. What's wrong with you people? <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. Terrible. Sorry. Yeah. You know what's funny? I never. Me being me, you'll be surprised by this. I've never tried any of the three. Blueberry, Frankenberry, or what do you have? What cereal do you use? Your mother, your mother hated you, didn't she? She really did. Yeah, Yeah, I think that's what it was. Or she just loved that cereal so much that she wasn't willing to share it. Those cereals were the fancy ones, so we Uh, never got to have those. But you get the generics. 
Yeah. yeah, and they didn't have generic blueberries. No. Oh. Would you get like Count Chocolate Dude and <laughs> Count Chocolate Dude? Count they didn't. Chocolate. They didn't even have most of those. <laughs> it would be yeah, like fruit rings and uh, fruit rings. yeah, and like whatever the generic frosting. They come in like was. those big ten pound bags. Oh, the big bags. Yep. Yeah. Was there a fourth berry guy that that got axed? Dingle. <laughs> That's right. Dingleberry was the one that wasn't the popular one for this. There's a werewolf one. one. Like yeah, Halloween Fruit ones? Brute. Fruit Brute. That fruit was the, Brute. Yeah. Yep. Fruit, I remember fruit there was a fourth one. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Fruit Brute. Yeah, and they got rid of them. Apparently there's another one, too. According to this picture, it's Fruity Yummy Mummy. Oh, I remember Yummy oh, Mummy. Yeah. Yummy oh, Mummy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't remember Fruit Brute. I do. I knew that Sounds somebody like was alone. Because you had you had you. Frankenstein, you had Dracula, and you needed to have the the werewolf. And I knew I'm like I knew there was a werewolf cereal, but he didn't last long. There needs to be there needs to be like a witch bits one or something. Witch bitch yeah. <laughs> bits. Oh bits. <laughs> like like alpha bits? I don't know if the yeah. kids can eat that. Yeah, <laughs> I don't think the kids should eat that. Two zero six four two one Rock Texas at seven seven nine nine nine. It's listeners on the loose. You pick the topic. You guide the show. Uh, somebody want to know, Steve? Are you going to get that facelift vinyl uh, deluxe? Debating on getting that or just the regular vinyl from Sam and oh. Renton. Uh, yeah, Allison Chain just announced that they're releasing their debut record facelift um, and like a giant vinyl packaging. Everybody's doing this now, aren't they? Really? Oh, it's a great idea. Yeah, I'm, I was on the fence. Like I saw that, I'm like, I'm definitely going to get the vinyl. I don't know if I'm going to do the box set. And it's nothing against like what they're offering because it's cool. It, has, it comes with, like an Alice in Chains cassette, some cool artwork. It's like a really cool looking box, which I think is awesome. But it's $152. But that's a coffee table piece. See, I think that's what people are doing now. Aren't they buying no, these things rather than putting books on their coffee table? They're putting like cool pieces of memorabilia oh, like see, this. We don't do any of that on our coffee table. So it goes in a shelf or in a box in the closet. Like I got the Mother Love Bone box set because I was like, oh, I need this. And I dropped over 100 bucks on that. I've listened to the vinyl several times. You know how many times I've looked into the actual box and like looked at the artwork, which is really nice? Once. You understand what you're supposed to do with all this, Steve? What? Make your Zoom room. You put it on the shelves. People are going to think you're fancy. Oh, that means I'm going to have to go on Zoom? I don't want to do Zoom. Oh, I forgot. Yeah. Well, you know. Because that's what people are doing. I mean, that's why I decided that when we did our thing. It's like, why am I doing it in a regular stupid room? I should put it in my board game room. At least it shows. I don't collect books, but I collect these. So that's what people do. They always put their fancy stuff behind them. Ultimate Zoom room. Yeah. I think I would want, like, if I had the money, have, like, a room set up to look like David Letterman set. And then like whatever, <laughs> you're already like a talk show, like the skyline in the background, yeah. the desk. And then I throw like a pen at the cell phone, and it makes the the glass crash yeah. like you used to on his show. <laughs> so you, um, I give you a top ten list in every Zoom, top ten reasons why I don't want to be on this Zoom call. And you don't want to green screen it; you want to really recreate the whole thing. I mean, green screen seems a little bit more cost effective and on yeah. a less of a uh, conversation with the wife ski. Yeah. But you could get a desk, and that's where you're zooming from. I just want to hear top ten reasons why this meeting could have been an email. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That would be awesome. Yeah. Well, we saw that when we oh, did this. And now we got a stupid human trick. Here's my coworker speaking. <laughs> Dude, you could do that. <laughs> Rose people, I love it. Yeah, I'm saying we do it. Do it, buddy. Okay, I'll get on that tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> well, you saw our, our, our buddy who's a radio person, Dana Cortez. She had that whole set when she did the Zoom thing that we had. She that was, was like, ridiculous. She looked really professional, and we all looked like schlubs. Dude, it looked like like Access Hollywood set. Yes. Right? It, was, it. it was so nice, and it was embarrassing because I'm sitting in a room holding my dog. There's like an acoustic guitar leaned up against a, a closet, and there's like a bunch of boxes because I'm moving. Yeah. And I'm like, and then she's got like this nice velvet red couch and like a neon sign that has her name on it. Yeah, she's actually quite professional. That's probably why she does well on the nice business. microphone. Yeah. You yeah. should do it. I mean, you should just make that happen somewhere in your do it in the garage. The oh, Letterman yes. set. Yeah, the garage is perfect. Put the Letterman set there. Like, why don't you park your car in the garage? Well, I have a David Letterman set in my garage. For what? For Zoom. <laughs> For Zoom meetings. <laughs> How often are you on them? Once a month. Yeah. Tops. <laughs> yeah. Worth every penny. Yeah, I think you should do it. And then you can get all those box sets for 150 bucks you're in <laughs> yeah it's a it's a sweet looking thing and i if you're if you collect things i love that uh musicians and, and groups are doing this yeah uh collectibles are awesome and, and i like that know. they also offer if you just want the vinyl yeah oh because, yeah either way yeah i mean yeah you probably would have been able to get me to spend the money because i wanted a vinyl so bad that i dropped the 150 dollars which i don't have at this moment you know what i mean but like 
I just want the vinyl. And that's cool that they they think about that. Yeah, because they know you got tater tot. They know that, look, man, a lot of their a lot of their patrons are parents and you just can't afford everything anymore. Ah, but to her in the house, you're expecting me to drop one fifty on a box set? Well, you're the one that wanted to get the new house. I, I I sat here and thought, wow, he's really going all in on being basically trapped for the rest of his life. Well, I mean, that's what you do. And <laughs> Wow, is that what you do? I think you don't have to be trapped for the rest of your life. I, you, I, don't I mean, see it as being trapped. But I mean, if dude, I in the last year, think about what your life has become. In the last year, you've gone from "Hey, man, we got our house, just doing what we're doing" to "Baby and brand new house yes. that's bigger and you know it's a little bit more expensive." And yeah, it's had. Yeah. yeah. So you're uh, you're in. You're, Somebody you're, actually texted saying, "Hey, did you wait?" Because they said, "Yeah, I heard you talk about getting a new house. Did you get one of those fancy JK Monarch houses you talk about?" As a matter of fact, <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> Shout out to Mike and JK Monarch. Good people, yeah. and I got into one. Hey, if they ever come up to the, in, in, anywhere near the east side, they should call me. Oh, they should call you. You shouldn't call them. No, oh, they got to call me. Their job. That's their to job call to call you. me. All right, the, now you understand how it works. Yeah. Jen, well, how about they just call your daughter? Um, all right, fair <laughs> She's enough. She's going to be the one living there anyway. Yeah, so that's fine. I was say, judging by some of the mortgage companies, I think it is their job to call you. <laughs> that's a good point. You get letters all the time. It's insane. Yeah. I, 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 that's my least favorite part about buying a house oh, yeah. is that all the junk mail that you get in the mail oh. from everything. It's like leave me, and then everything looks official until you open it. Yeah, you know every letter says this is very important. Do not discard. You're like, what the hell is that? am I going to jail? And then you open it. It's like we can lock you in a newer rate. I'm like, leave me the f alone. I feel like <laughs> whoever I'm doing business with, I'm going to go. I know you're putting me on mailing list, so I want a discount. Because mm-hmm. I mean, they're selling your stuff. They're selling your stuff. Because yeah, you're right. As soon as you make any new purchase, you are immediately getting inundated with all sorts of mail, email, and everything. And you're like, how do they know that I'm now in the market for this? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Because my name went somewhere, and there was probably some fine print I didn't realize because I was going for the loan. Who knows? And so I'm going to try to get discounts and go. I know I'm going on a mailing list, and I want you to pay me for that. <laughs> I, really, I want a kickback. Yeah, I do. I mean, because you know, they're making money off of my name. At least give me like a Bed Bath & Beyond coupon. Yeah. Something. Anything. Well, like, you can get those. Those, like, I mean, as far as I know, they still never run out. What? Oh, those Bed Bath & Beyond, that was always the joke, uh, was that you could take them in at any time. They will honor them no matter what. Even if like, you had one from like 1999? Yes. That was the, that's the joke about Bed Bath & Beyond. It was on a TV show. Oh, um, I just got a 20% uh, coupon from them after we bought a bunch of stuff, of course. <laughs> it used to be that way. I haven't been to a BBB in a long time, but uh, I remember I walked in with one that was five Triple years B. old. Triple BB. That's right. All right, it is Listeners on the Loose. You, yes, you, pick the topic and you guide the show. 206-421-ROCK. Text us at 77999. We got more of your calls and texts at 933 on The Rock. BJ and Migs. Mornings on The Rock. 99.9 KISW. $20 million. $19 million. $6 million. These are all awards recovered for clients of Phillips Law Firm. To win big, you have to fight big. And Phillips Law has been fighting the too-big-to-fail insurance industry for decades. Not every case will have a multi-million dollar outcome, but Phillips Law will fight just as hard to recover the outcome you deserve. If you or a loved one has been injured in a car accident or on the job, call or click today at 1-800-JUSTICE or visit justiceforyou.com. Spend less time in the laundry room and more time doing the things you love. Introducing the Samsung Smart Top Load Laundry Pair, now available at Lowe's. The washer's large capacity means you can fit more in every load. Plus, its super speed setting washes a full load in only 28 minutes. Shop the smart washer that will streamline laundry day, backed by Lowe's Price Promise. Based on using super speed on a normal cycle with an 8-pound load, terms apply. See Lowe's.com slash price promise for details. U.S. only. 99.9 KISW, The Rock of Seattle. It's listeners on the loose. You pick the topic. You guide the show at 206 421 Rock. Text us at 77999. And uh, whatever you want to rap about, man, we are open for you. Uh, someone just uh, texted in uh, What is a food that you hated as a kid but love now? For me, it's artichoke. Oh, yeah. Artichoke is on that list. I've always liked artichoke. My mom makes like a really good stuffed artichoke. So as, even as a kid, I loved it. But yeah. Well, uh, there is, I mean, look, there's a lot of food you can put out there. As a matter of fact, I, we came across a list where they actually, they ask people this. So this is pretty wild that folks are thinking about this because this was something they thought, you know, that is a cool phenomenon. Brussels sprouts. Number two on the list, my friend. 
I didn't love Brussels sprouts until I realized you could uh, put oil on them and roast them. Yeah, I didn't like Brussels sprouts until you realized you could cook them in a very unhealthy way. Yeah, totally. Oh, yeah. Artichokes, <laughs> by the way, artichokes not on the list. I, uh, yeah, I'm I very wonder, surprised by artichokes that. Artichokes is kind of like a, a more of a, like a niche, crappy food. There's, yeah, there's too much work with artichokes, Just man. Stuff them. So one thing I miss about California Pizza Kitchen not being here anymore. Why? They had the spinach artichoke dick. It was so good. Joey dip? and I. Yeah. But I, did, I, did I say the wrong word? <laughs> dip. Dip. Dip, sir. Dip. D-I-P. Yeah, that's not what Popeye ate to get stronger. <laughs> yeah, he didn't, have a, he didn't have the spinach artichoke, uh, Richard. Uh, but I missed that from CPK, I man. bet you do. Yeah, sure. I missed the, the Richard. Uh, so that's not, yeah. So, so Brussels 2000 sprouts pe- is number two. 2,000 people said Brussels sprouts, uh, sprouts number two. And uh, vegetables do dominate this list. So think vegetables if you're thinking of foods that people used to hate when they were kids, but now they love. Eggplant, thanks to the emoji. Uh, <laughs> I'm looking at eggplant and not on the list either. Oh, I thought maybe people got curious. Like, what does this eggplant taste like? Number 10 is the tastiest thing ever in everybody's mind. Sour Number Patch 10. Kids. It's not a, and by the way, it's not a vegetable. Sour Patch Kids. Uh, Sour Patch Kids. Uh, not, not on, I, I don't know. I think kids didn't like Sour Patch No, you just said it's the tastiest thing of all time. Oh, no. I think it's even better than that, Steve. <laughs> Come on. People wrap stuff up with this. It's so good. Bacon? Yeah, baby. Uh, people don't like bacon? Get out. Yeah, when they were kids, they say kid. You, I always kid. loved bacon as a kid. I, that's why I said it would be surprising, number 10. That's a stupid one. A people just want to say bacon for the sake of saying bacon. Yep. You don't believe one in eight people actually didn't like it as a kid? Mm. One in eight? <laughs> yes, sir. All right, maybe. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Well, he's, he's wait, you know what? Maybe. He's coming back to science. Yeah, that's at least this survey. I don't know, you know, it's only 2,000 people. But, so it's uh, a pickled beets. Well, that is very specific, yeah. and no, that is beets. not the answer. I would put beets in that. Oh, beets itself, I yes. loved beets as a kid. I yeah, hated them because I always thought it was going to be like that cranberry sauce. Oh, you know, oh, like, the one out of the can. Oh, yeah. They look the same. So whenever I take a bite out of it, I'm like, this is awful. What the hell is this crap? <laughs> and it, I was like, this isn't like the Thanksgiving treat that we have. And my mom's like, that's because it's not. That's the whole, yeah, that's the thing. And, it, but beets are Swedish. I mean, sweet, not Swedish like in the, the nationality, but sweet. <laughs> They're sweet. They're kind of sweet. So I'm thinking that any kind of vegetable that's kind of sweet probably isn't on the list. Is uh, jalapenos or hot sauce on the list? No, ma'am. Because I could um, not do it as a kid, and now I can't eat without a little spice. Ooh, one texture says cauliflower. Cauliflower, wow. I am looking on this list, and surprisingly, well, we still no. hate it as kids and as adults. But you're getting. I you're, like cauliflower, though. You're very close to number three, Broccoli. though. That's number three. There you go. Broccoli. I don't Broccoli. Think, does that mean people just were never forced to eat cauliflower, or does cauliflower have less of a taste? Which is why they use it in certain things, because you really don't, there's not much of a taste. I don't know. Um, yeah, I would agree with that. I yeah. feel like cauliflower doesn't have much of it. Like that's why you can use it as rice and stuff. Yeah, so maybe that's why kids didn't have a problem with it. But broccoli has a taste. Yes. I don't hate cauliflower rice. Oh, neither do I. No. I love oh, cauliflower know, rice. You know, like is we, that as a we, child or as an adult? Oh, I didn't even know it existed until like last year. Okay. Yeah. Just right. like before that, I didn't know you could do all this crazy stuff with cauliflower. But like, I, if I had to pick between as a non-rice thing, because obviously I'm going to go white rice all the time, but yeah. uh, either quinoa or cauliflower rice, I'd rather cauliflower rice. Okay. Just in case you guys are thinking about Christmas gifts. Well, it's important. <laughs> We're going to get you, because I remember Trader Joe's used to have a whole bag of fried uh, fried cauliflower rice. Yeah, they got some of them uh, flavored cauliflower rice. Oh, yeah, so yeah, I've done the microwave little packets it. of that. Yeah, we oh, do that. Put it in my mm. belly. That is really good. Also, I mean, just a uh, cauliflower crust pizza. Yeah, but be careful. Why? Why? Because some places, I won't mention their names, their cauliflower crust pizza is more carb heavy than the oh, regular yeah, yeah, pizza. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I but, get the, we get the little frozen pizzas. Uh, and yeah, be careful with Make it. sure you check, yeah, the nutritional information. <laughs> yeah, but some are doing it just because they don't want to have bread. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, number one is the clue. Number one. Asparagus. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, it. it makes your pee-pee smell. Oh, awesome. I love Rev. Rev got it. I, I always I guess loved. lemonade. That's, yeah. that's way better. You're, you're lemonade. Kind of close, you though. didn't like lemonade as a kid? <laughs> really? <laughs> Never mind. That was the hint. You said the hint is number one. My guess was lemonade. Yeah. You understand what we're doing as a topic, right? <laughs> Which is the, the thing that kids hate when I know. as a kid. Someone explained to BJ what I the, the His joke brain was. automatically just thought lemonade. That's all. Oh, you mean You'll, just 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 in general when you go number one, you go yes. you do lemonade. It's yellow. Yes. Oh. He wasn't thinking of the other stuff. Well, I'm not going to ever play Password or anything with you if you're... I feel like that was a, a, I, I, a good... I, I, no, yeah, I followed you really no, well there, Steve. No, it's not a good 
answer the, 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 the survey said, if you were on Family Feud and the survey is the things we hated as kids but love as adults, and you said lemonade is an answer. Yeah, good answer, good answer. You would not good get answer, a good, answer. good answer. I know that, but I would make it on the blooper reel. That okay. was the point. All right. All right. <laughs> and I I'm love not, how I didn't I, guess it because I thought I'd be right. I love how the rest of the moron enablers just continue maybe to feed you. If, maybe we're not the morons. Maybe the one calling us morons is the moron. Maybe. Maybe. All right, I want to let you go. The entire that. room is tracking, except okay, for one. Yeah. Why are we the bad guys? Because yeah, we are a doing a list. I don't know. I know. I understand why you would say lemonade when I said number one. But then there's a list that I'm doing. That's the whole. Fine. I mean, that's all. Sorry, BJ. I didn't I, follow the rules of this list. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I'm even here. I'll be honest with you. I'm still with uh, you, Steve. Yeah. Thank you, you go ahead. Go ahead and enable him. He will never get better if you enable him. You realize it's going to piss you off as much as it did. <laughs> wow, so you guys, asparagus. Yeah, that was sorry. a good one, yeah. yeah. So asparagus is number one. Did we do number two yet? Did we talk yes, about... Yes, Brussels sprouts. We did Brussels sprouts. Broccoli is number three. Okay. You did touch upon number four because I lemonade. accidentally said the... Uh, I said, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, lemonade's number four. No, I talked about spinach and artichoke dip. Yeah, Number four. So that's why... How about the fact that I don't get that? And that's uh, spinach... What about is, onions? On, onions? I think if you do onions the right way, kids like them. No, I hated onions yeah, as a kid. Really there was a not a single onions. way you could do it. Oh, yeah? yeah. How about a thing called an onion ring? Oh. I, didn't, I don't count that as an onion. It's an... Um, okay, Steve. I, got, I have Okay, okay Steve. I, let I, me go. Please yeah, let me I, leave right now. I'm going on BJ's head on this one. Please let me like, go. Come on. Can Even though it's deep fried. Who's chopping up onion rings and putting it in a salad? Nobody. What are you what? talking about? <laughs> that was the weakest a, argument of today. Kid, that's the only way I knew that there was onions. Well, you, you, you never went to the fast food and you got the onion rings or a nice restaurant where they had them? I still don't think onion rings are really onions. I can't uh, do this anymore. Okay. <laughs> but you know what? We'll agree right. to disagree on this. Oh, no. <laughs> We're not going to agree to disagree on anything, Lemonade Boy. Fair. All right. What the hell? Uh, how about number five? I like caramelized onions now as an adult. <laughs> oh, I you love know, those, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I like turtles. Can we... Okay, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Why are you going on turtles? What does that have to do with the list? Because lemonade and turtles are a great combo. Um, number five... Uh, I don't know. I mean, these I'm sort of, maybe it was the texture of these. It's not like the flavor was horrible. Texture. Eggs. Uh, no. Oh, actually, it's number eight, though. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oysters. Oysters. Ew. <laughs> because oh, he because does as an adult. we're giving kids oysters all the time. I mean, Come a, on, little guess. Rockefeller. Thank let's you. have some oysters. No, good, answer. Answer. good answer. My uncle tried to give me uh, uh, oysters when I was 10 years old. Yeah. My, my mom would bread and fry them. Yeah. I loved him. All right. No, I hated him. Okay. I don't remember oysters as a kid. I remember clams. We used to get fried clams a lot. But maybe yeah, that's just we had a clams. Thing. We had clams, clams as well. Yeah, mm-hmm. I think oysters were a little too fancy for my family. Well, you know. That's well, not- you know what? You with your lemonade and your oysters, you were living the big <laughs> life? We were living the high life in uh, Brooklyn <laughs> with okay, our fine. oysters and lemonade I'm stand. talking uh, <laughs> For texture, yeah. I'm thinking oatmeal. Uh, oh, good call, Vicky. Mm. I was thinking green beans because they do have an interesting texture to them. Oh, they you smoked know. on your teeth. They're delicious. See, like kids. Even as a kid. Did, yeah, kids, a lot of kids didn't like them. Number five on the list of things that they didn't like, but then as an adult, they're like, okay, cool. They were kind of a pain in the ass also to get on your fork. Yeah. Because every time you try to like, stab them, they, they like, mush up. Oh, yeah. And you have to like, scoop them. Oh, mushy green beans are the worst. What about like, peas? Speaking of things that are tough to get on your fork. See, everybody, see, uh, that's so you just smash them. I, I am surprised because I remember kids didn't like to eat peas, but it's not on the list. I, I liked peas. I hated split pea soup with every oh. fiber of my being. But if you throw a little bacon into it now, yeah. I will eat it. I will eat anything with bacon. That's well. Oh, that's yeah, truth. I'm a landfill, man. <laughs> Even though number 10 is bacon on the list. Uh, I don't know when I started loving split pea soup, but I love it. But I don't know if I always did. I think I did. The oh. only time my mom did peas was when she would make mashed potatoes. And then you just mix them in with oh, your yeah. mashed potatoes. Yeah. Yeah. It's delicious. And I think peas are awesome. I mean, that's un- and they're unfortunate. Even as a kid. Yeah, and they're too carb heavy. Because, well, you know what? My, you put butter on everything. Butter makes everything so good. Oh, truth. And Absolutely. I, it's just like cheese makes broccoli good. <laughs> broccoli cheese is just synonymous. And that's, of course, broccoli cheese. butter fan. I love butter, man. <laughs> on my popcorn. Okay, <laughs> forget about it. That's just Forrest Gump forget now my it. co-host. <laughs> I want to get you a shirt or a hat that says, I love butter. If you did, I'd wear it every night. Yeah. Butter fan. Except popcorn. for Thursdays because it's cracking. <laughs> but is butter a carb? Butter's thank a you, thank fat. You. Thank you. Put it's butter a, on my potatoes. It's a Mean That's Girls hard. reference. Oh, what's, what's it's a Mean Girls reference. Oh, I didn't. Jeez, we're bringing it. Wow, I love how <laughs> Danny knows the Mean Girls references. All right, pretty good. It's better a carb. Oh, all right. I didn't know that. So it says I like eggs, but not hard boiled eggs. Mm, yeah, no. You don't oh, like hard boiled eggs? I, oh, nope. I, I love them. They're I so smell great. Smell the farts. 
Yeah, yeah. But they, they taste do. awesome. Mm-mm, they kind of taste like farts, too. <laughs> no, they don't taste like farts because I have literally, I've, I've been next to you and where it's been so bad, it's, I've tasted it. Yeah, and you could taste it. Yeah. If you were in the room, Steve would have thrown something at you. <laughs> I could see it in his face. <laughs> Harpo eggs are amazing. They, they are. are so They're really good. That means you, you, like, you have to you have, that, you have, to have to still the yellow yolk in there. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and and people, a lot and of salt. Egg white stuff. It's like, oh, yeah, definitely douse it in salt. Oh, that's or, a hot, or hot sauce. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Oh. General problem. Or oh. devil that baby up. Oh, devil eggs. Oh, yeah. Forget devil eggs it. are just, yeah, the supreme. Uh, fish is also on this list. Uh, people didn't, a lot of kids, people didn't like fish as a like kid. Like fish sticks? Do you like fish sticks? Oh, I loved them. Nice. And fish sticks as well. <laughs> yeah, or fish fingers is how they call them there in jolly old England. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Are you okay? No, no I'm not just, that. Come on. I feel like we're I seeing a box that like said like fish fingers. Yeah, yeah. All right. That's right. That's right, damn it. <laughs> All right, and we round off the list uh, eggs, and Greek yogurt, and bacon. Those oh, are I the hate other. Greek yogurt. Oh, avocados. So avocados gross. is on the list too. <gasps> Why? Why? Yeah. Why? Because people didn't like it. it was Tatum just, loves them. She's asked. not even a year old. Okay. Well, really? Uh, yeah. Tatum That's is awesome. uh Well, and it's only a small percentage of people. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, Tatum is part Greek of Greek yogurt. Rev has an issue with Greek yogurt. Yeah. Yeah. It's so nasty he, and you know thick what? and sour and just, oh. Yeah. Oh, it's delicious. Yeah. Oh, I yeah, thought it's just because you had an issue with the Greeks. Uh, no, no, I'm fine. Oh, well, okay. no, I actually kind of hate euros too. I hate lamb meat. Okay. See, I think he's got an issue with the Greeks. He's not opa I'm not having a good day hearing these things. I don't blame you, dude. Rev and I cannot eat together. We should buy a box of fish fingers and throw them at him. <laughs> yes. Yeah. As long as we don't go to a Euro place, we'll be fine. Yeah. Yeah. How do you not like Euros? Yeah, Euros are so it's good. Lamb meat is sweaty meat. It's disgusting. I've had Euros that had different meat in it, and they're fine. But lamb meat is gross. Oh, no. man. And I have spring lamb pizza. It's my favorite pizza to get me a post Well, you can have that. Okay, thank you. I, you know what? I've been an adult a while, and I've been able to do what I, I want. I will not bother you for your lamb meat pizza. I don't. I feel like we've never been more torn apart on a food conversation than this one. Yeah. Well, you know, now it's now it's time you. I'm sorry you had to learn the truth this way. <laughs> sorry I had to come out like this for you. All right, we got a big question that needs to be answered. What do Ryan Castle and Taco Bell have in common? You're going to find out at 9:51 on the Rock. DJ and Mix mornings on the Rock ninety nine point nine KISW. And now the Ryan Castle question of the day: What do Ryan Castle and Taco Bell have in common? Uh, I am actually about forty seven percent Taco. I can verify that. As is Taco Bell. It's yes. almost actually tacos. <laughs> I do love Taco Bell. Oh, man, yeah. When Texter says Steve prefers them both with fire sauce on them. Fire sauce. That's good. And both hurt Steve's bum bum. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't heard bum bum in a while. I can handle uh, yeah. the yeah. Taco Bell just fine. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. Fire sauce makes your bum bum hurt when you go poop poops. <laughs> well, there you go. I think uh, you have finally reached the pinnacle of fine broadcasting, folks. <laughs> Well, let's talk about the cops of Pennsylvania. They tracked down a burglar who broke into a Taco Bell in the middle of the night, stole 300 bucks from the register, and they found him thanks to a shot of his license plate on a security camera. I'm shocked there's $300 in a cash register at Taco Bell. Yeah. That seems like a lot of money for a Taco Bell. So they ran this guy's name, found out that this was not the first job he pulled at a Taco Bell. He's 30 years old. His name is Joshua. Turns out that he has been arrested for breaking into at least 30 other Taco Bells in Kentucky, West Virginia, Ohio, and as they ran him through the system, they couldn't find him originally because, well, he was currently in jail in Indiana, yes, for breaking into a Taco Bell. Jeez. I give him credit, though. He knows what he likes. That's consistency. It sure is. Speaking of consistency, Ryan Castle, he's got That's a 12-pack. Right. That's next. BJ and Miggs play of the day. Good or bad, we want to know, what was the oddest encounter you have ever had with a celebrity? Uh, my mother was a surrogate three times, and on the third time, she was a surrogate for William Shatner's daughter. I didn't know William Shatner had any surrogate children. I had no idea. I thought he was married every time. William Shatner's it was his, daughter. His daughter. Oh, his, his daughter. daughter. Okay, now I got you. I misunderstood you. So, in other words... William Shatner was a surrogate mom? <laughs> DJ and Migs, mornings on The Rock, 99.9 KISW. Today's podcast was brought to you by Travis Gagne, bankruptcy attorney. He's here right now and has agreed to answer more of your questions about bankruptcy. 
How much does bankruptcy cost? Well, b- bankruptcy costs, of course, vary depending on what type of uh, case you're filing. There's a certain amount of, of, of court costs and other out-of-pocket costs that you're going to have in any case. Uh, the, the filing fees in a bankruptcy case are, are about $300, whether you file Chapter 7 or Chapter 13. Uh, one of the things to watch out for when you're shopping for bankruptcy attorneys or, or looking at the different cost options is that a lot of times, the, especially the really cheap uh, places, don't tell you up front about the, all the court costs and whatnot that you're going to have to pay in addition to the attorney fees. So make sure that you get the full picture when you're talking, when you're comparing prices of bankruptcy lawyers on what the attorney fees are, how much your court costs are going to be so that you can really make a true comparison. Thanks, Travis. If you have more questions about bankruptcy, you can reach out to Travis anytime at choosetherightchapter.com. $20 million, $19 million, $6 million. These are all awards recovered for clients of Phillips Law Firm. To win big, you have to fight big. And Phillips Law has been fighting the too-big-to-fail insurance industry for decades. Not every case will have a multi-million dollar outcome, but Phillips Law will fight just as hard to recover the outcome you deserve. If you or a loved one has been injured in a car accident or on the job, call or click today at 1-800-JUSTICE or visit justiceforyou.com.